Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something uh, that I stumbled across, of course, all things Reddit. This is where this came from. The Security Certification Progression Chart 2020. Yes, I know we're in 21. Don't care. It's probably going to be a similar version when it rolls out. But um, I just wanted to say a couple of thoughts on this this chart, uh, this image, and how I think people should should use it. Um, the first thing I notice off the bat is that it's, it's extremely humbling um, because, you know, I remember when I got my Security Plus, uh, it was the first certification that I got, and I was like, cool, I'm hot shit. I can uh, go get a job now because I have Security Plus, and it's literally at the bottom here as an entry-level cert. Yes, I know it's an entry-level cert, but um, it's not easy. Uh, as Compared to these other exams, yes, it's it's very easy, probably the easiest on here. Well, these two, A plus and net plus, which you probably can't see, those are on here, or Cloud Practitioner for AWS, those are very, very easy as well. But um, they put it right at the bottom, so that's humbling off the bat. Uh, the next thing I looked for was the CEH, which at least is in the novice category. Um, glad, glad to see that. I also have that one as well. Um, and then I looked for my other certifications. I got the GCFE uh, from, from SANS there. That SANS course was brutal, and that test was, you know, open book, but... I had a good index, so glad that got me through. The knowledge was great for this one. Uh, I also have my CISSP, so glad to see that's pretty high up on the chart. That was the hardest uh, security exam I've ever taken um, year to date. I studied very rigorously for, for four months, and just all I did was CISSP, so glad that has some weight to this, this chart here. And then talking with some other Splunkers that I work with, uh, we, we noticed this one right here. Splunk Enterprise Security Certified Admin. So we were like, we're on the board, man. We're above the the middle here, this middle programming line. We're above uh, novice certification. So super cool to see uh, that one of my Splunk certs is at least recognized somewhere on this chart. Um, thanks for that, whoever, whoever built this. Um, but anyways, the point of this chart, I think it's a very humbling chart and a lot of people can get discouraged from it. I'm here to tell you, don't look at it like that. Look at it like that um, in that capacity. Don't look at it and be like, damn, I only got security plus. I suck. Um, what you can do instead is look at this chart and it organizes it into nice uh, categories. These categories, these six categories here at the top, this is how you can kind of structure your game plan moving forward with your cybersecurity career path. Once you figure out what of these, uh, which one of these six realms you want to focus your work on, what kind of job you want to land in what industry, then you can use this chart here to start referencing a game plan for certifications that fall very niche into that category. Maybe you want to stay in the um, forensics or the incident handling roles for your career moving forward. Maybe you know you really want to focus on incident response. Uh, maybe go pick up some SAN certs for uh, host-based like GCFE um, or NFA for network-based forensics. Um, kind of Use this as a template to structure your ideas and your path for how to set you up for a job that you want in that specific realm of cybersecurity. Because there's so many different jobs, uh, it's hard to find your niche, the one that you like, a job that you would like to have. Um, even within just defensive operations, there's so many different routes you can go down. So find the route that you like and, like, and then use this chart to really figure out a game plan for how to get your certifications and how they stack up against other industry certifications. Uh, don't look at this chart as just something that's very humbling and discouraging. Look as it as a look at it to act as a, a guide for you to use to set up your point of attack going forward with your certifications.